Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and Funko must have left the best for last or at least when it comes to the Ahsoka series Star Wars Funko Pops because we just got another wave. I think it's like the third wave of Ahsoka Star Wars Funko Pops that we've gotten. So we got um, leaked images, revealed images uh, from Funko Info, disc trackers, Funko Finders, all the, the usual Funko news and rumor outlets there on on social media they all released images of four new Funko Pops uh three days ago so on Monday they they dropped uh the images and then uh yesterday we got the inbox images the inbox glamour shots and then today we got a fifth Funko Pop which is an exclusive and why I say that Funko might be holding on to the best for last or keeping the best for last is because these five Funko Pops, or at least the majority of these five, are ones that the majority of the fans who have watched the Ahsoka series truly wanted from this series so far. Like we got, we got another Ahsoka before we got, we got Hu Yang and stuff like that. But we, these versions of these characters are the ones that we really wanted from the series. So let's go through these images. So the first of the four that were revealed on Monday. Um, and then we, like I said, we got the images, the glamour shots of the boxes on Tuesday, yesterday. Um, so the first one is number 749, Ahsoka Tano, and you can see the box is exactly the same as the rest of the Ahsoka series Funko Pops. So it's that, that beautiful, beautiful teal color with the star map in the background. So nothing's changed there. Uh, but Ahsoka Tano is 749, but this is Ahsoka the White, so... This is after she kind of fell into the water on, uh, not Peridia, that other planet there after fighting Balin Skull, and um, she ended up in the World Between Worlds and came back, and she dressed all in white, becoming Ahsoka the White, and being a little more wise, I guess, and a little more open to, to different ways, um, if you will. So that's the inbox image, and if we take a look at the out-of-box image there, such a great pose and completely different pose than the Ahsoka the White that we got from the, the Rebels uh, wave there a while back. Actually, I think she was part of the um, Power of the Galaxy wave, I think it was, with the female characters that they released on Amazon as Amazon exclusive um, pops. But this one is a great pose. She's got uh, both lightsabers drawn, one in one hand pointed down, and one in the other one kind of pointing backwards. So really great pose the eyes are kind of uh closed a little bit they painted on the eyelids there so that's incredible i really love this one i'm definitely picking this one up the next one is sabine wren and exact same packaging for all of these nothing new there um and this one is number 750 in this series in the way a series of funko Pops, star wars funko pops and this one she's wearing the helmet and she's got her lightsaber drawn. So this is from when she's fighting Shin Hati uh, again on that same planet where where Balin and Ahsoka fought before she fell into the world between worlds. Um, I can't remember the name of that planet. Let me know in the comments if you remember that name of it. Uh, but not not too bad of a pose. Um, I love the different colors of the armor because she's wearing the updated helmet. Um, she's got a little bit of orange on her her left foot there on the armor there. So kind of reminiscent of her. Her Rebels era armor there, the orange and the, the burgundy color there. And then she's got a couple of, um, I don't know, designs on her, her gauntlets there. I'm not too sure what those are. I'll have to take a better look at it when I get this Funko Pop in hand because I'm definitely picking this one up as well. Um, I do only have the the one Sabine that's uh, the flying pose. Again, from the Power of the Galaxy, I believe it was. Uh, and I don't have any Ahsoka Sabine Ren Funko Pops yet. So I'll be definitely picking up this one. They did have the other version where she's got the, the helmet off and her blasters drawn. So I still need to get that one as well. But I, th I think this one's probably better in my opinion. Just because you got the helmet on and you got the lightsaber in hand. So that's very cool. Um, and all of these pops were rumored to be coming for quite a, a while now. For many months now. We, we talked about it over on the Star Wars Popcast. Which you can catch every Saturday at 4pm Eastern. Um, but the next Funko Pop we get, we're getting is one, again, this is one that a bunch of us wanted when we saw the episode, Anakin Skywalker with the red lightsaber. 
Um, so during his duel with Ahsoka in the World Between Worlds, he lights up a red lightsaber and he, he fights her. So this is incredible. This is great. Um, it's Revenge of the Sith style Anakin Skywalker, obviously. But again, great packaging. Same packaging as the rest of him. Um, Anakin Skywalker is number 751 in the series. And the out-of-box image there, we got um, a, a decent pose. Not... Not great, but a decent one for an Anakin Skywalker Funko Pop. Kind of more of a, a defensive pose, if you will. Um, he's got the lightsaber off to one side, holding it with both hands. Would have been cool if his legs were bent a little bit, but it's it, it looks like Anakin. It's Anakin Skywalker. He he's not gonna he doesn't need to do too much to defend himself, you know. Uh, but it looks like it's got some really nice details. Hard to tell from the glamour shot, but the the, the leather part of his tunic, the darker black or darker brown um, areas, almost look, looks like it's shinier, so maybe a glossier paint for that, which would be cool, um, because it is, in, in the uh, in the movies, he does have kind of like a, a leather kind of part to his tunic that overlap the rest of the fabric, so that's very cool. I do like the look of that. Um, next, we have our first Ezra Bridger Funko Pop. From the Ahsoka series, uh, the Iman Esfandi version of Ezra Bridger, which he did great. And Iman, if you are you do happen to be watching this video, you should be very excited about having your, your first two pops here. Um, that's very cool. So we got Ezra Bridger, number 752. Again, same packaging, beautiful packaging. And out of box image, you see him wearing the, the robes that he's found on Peridia in. Uh, so like the red and the tan colors, um, he's holding the blue lightsaber. I believe this is the the one he built on the uh, the Jedi starship with Hu Yang there, because um, it's got that that kind of bigger piece around the emitter. So this I believe is from the duel um, where him Ezra and Ahsoka and Sabine Wren are are trying to get into the uh, I guess that that palace, that castle on Peridia to, to try and stop Thrawn. So again, the pose is, is decent. It's not like one of the best poses, but it, it's, I believe it's taken straight out of the, the show as are the rest of the poses of these Funko Pops. And, and Funko has been doing good with those, like taking poses straight out of the show or the movie. I really do enjoy that. So if we do get a, a kind of simpler pose like this, that's fine. But the lightsaber, the blue lightsaber, Ezra with the beard, it looks fantastic. And he's got that kind of um, chainmail armor underneath, it looks like. So this one looks like it's going to be very, very detailed. I can't wait to get this one. And then the one I think the majority of us have been waiting for, um, again, Ezra Bridger, the Eman Asfandi Ezra Bridger, Target exclusive. This one was revealed today, earlier this morning. Um, number 753. Same packaging again. And then, as you can see, he's in the Night Trooper armor with the the gold accents and the red fabric accents. Um, hello there. Or, no, not hello there. Hi, Hera. I'm home. Like that last scene from the Ahsoka series. This pop... I think this one and the white Ahsoka are my two favorite from the series. Oh, and the Anakin Skywalker. So the three favorite, but I'll be picking all of them up um, as soon as I can get my hands on them when they come out. Uh, as, as of right now, I don't think there's a release date. I think you might be able to look on uh, some of the websites like GameStop.com very shortly and, and um, pre-order those. If they are up for pre-order, I will leave links in the description below for you guys to... to uh, pre-order those um but all in all i think this is uh this is a great wave for the ahsoka series funko pops and like i said i think funko kept the best for last in my opinion um so yeah definitely getting these and if you are an ahsoka series fan you definitely want to pick these ones up as well but let me know what you think of all of these star wars ahsoka series funko pops what do you think of these reveals? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click to watch one of my other reviews. 
Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you.